BBC News. The UN nuclear watchdog, the IAEA, says it has agreed a deal with Iran to continue the surveillance of some of its nuclear facilities. Speaking on his return from talks in Tehran, the agency's head, Rafael Grossi, said the agreement would give space for diplomacy. The deal allows international monitors to serve as the cameras that gather data at the sites. One of the leaders of Nicaragua's exile community in Costa Rica has been shot and wounded by gunmen as he organised a rally against the government of President Daniel Ortega. Police say João Maldonado was attacked near the capital, San Jose. Mexico's Roman Catholic Church has criticised two recent rulings that paved the way for the legalisation of abortion. The church accused the Supreme Court of favouring death over life. The main candidates to succeed the German Chancellor, Angela Merkel, have held the second of three televised debates ahead of this month's election. A snap poll suggested the current front-runner, the finance minister, Olaf Scholz of the Social Democrats, came out top in the latest encounter. The Israeli Foreign Minister Yair Lapid has unveiled plans to improve life for Palestinians in Gaza on condition that Hamas militants stop their attacks against Israel. He said the impoverished territory of two million people would get an infrastructure upgrade, including repairs to the electricity network. The South African president has announced the easing of some restrictions in place to curb the spread of coronavirus. Cyril Ramaphosa said due to a decline in infections, an overnight curfew would be shortened, alcohol restrictions would be eased and larger gatherings allowed. And the men's world number one tennis player Novak Djokovic is attempting to become the first man in more than half a century to win all four Grand Slam tournaments in the same year. He's playing the Russian Daniel Medvedev in the US Open final. BBC News.